Chandra. I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarobyanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love lives or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarobyanisha at gmail.com. Librans, it's a very dynamic month. We have a lot of planetary movement and uh, the majority of the planets this year in 2019 are in an Earth sign. So the entire energy is about being grounded. It's about centering yourself. It's about staying practical, sticking to the facts and not getting too swayed by your emotions. Now, Librans, you tend to sort of live in your head a lot. You're an air sign, so conversations, thoughts, um, ideas are something that is, it's, a, it's like a second nature to you. But 2019, it is asking for um, more of practicality. It's asking about uh, rechecking your facts. It's asking not to get lost in your dream world. It's about implementation. It's good to have dreams. It's wonderful to dream. It's uh, absolutely wonderful to have hope. But till the time that you don't give legs to those dreams, it will be hard to manifest what exactly that you want. Now on the Jan 6th, we have a solar eclipse, which is there in Capricorn. Also the entire energy this year, it's between Capricorn and Cancer, and they're absolutely in opposite to each other. So if there's a, uh, say if you have a Capricorn in the 10th house, you'll have Cancer, which is activating your fourth house, which is right uh, opposite to it. It's right at the bottom. So you'll have to see as to which, um, where is it that Capricorn is transiting for you, where it is that Cancer is uh, getting activated for you. So for you, it is all about your home. It's a place where you share and stay with other people. And uh, this is uh, going to be bringing about a lot of uh, focus. Uh, I think this entire year is about where they're going to be changing residence. Maybe someone comes and lives with you over here. Maybe a parent needs some care. Maybe your mother needs uh, some special care. Maybe either you move in with her or she moves in with you. But something at home changes for you. Even for some of you, you could be either buying a house, you could be leasing a new one, you could be selling the one where you live. Uh, it can in certain cases also mean that you'll maybe shift houses, move out of the country, move out of the uh, city as well. Cancer for you is activating your house of work. So this is quite a, uh, a wonderful aspect where there are opportunities as far as projects are concerned. It's a time to be taking healthy risks, uh, Librans. It's uh, not a time to be sitting and contemplating or I would say just, uh, you know, as much as you enjoy mental stimulation, but uh, it's really a time of, uh, of seeing whether, how much of it uh, is uh, possible to apply it in real life, the application of it. So those are the things that you will really have to uh, see. Even where work is concerned, um, you will have to make an extra effort if there's something that you, you know, coveting maybe a job that you've been really wanting an ideal job that you've been looking forward to that is something that will require work as well uh, from your side now uh, uranus uh, rolled back into aries in november 2018 it was there it's moved to taurus but it rolled back for a bit till about uh, march 2019 it rolls back again uh, into taurus so during this entire time uh, the time where uranus rolls or uh, has rolled back from November to March 2019. It's a time to be seeing things that have really got activated for you as far as uh, your um, your marriage is concerned. Um, and this is a house which will sort of bring about or has been bringing about in the last seven years a lot of unpredictability, a lot of um, a lot of confusion, a lot of upheaval. And this is the last time. Uh, that in this sort of circuit that Uranus is going to be there. So be prepared for some little bit more of uh, drama that Uranus tends to create. It can bring about chaos with it, maybe something that you'll find and out and it'll be very upsetting for you. And uh, uh, for you also, uh, I think it's very important to acknowledge the progress that you have made as far as relationships are concerned. Libris. So this last time when uh, Uranus uh, comes and sits in your house of uh, relationships, it it's like a reminder that have you learned the lessons well or not? Uh, what is it that sort of really 
riles you up or what is it that really triggers you what are your trigger points as far as relationship uh, relationships are concerned what is it that really makes you insecure and this entire energy also is uh, it's a very codependent energy you know um, are you being very needy are you being very insecure so uranus will come and create a bit of drama a bit of chaos now on uh, on march 2019 uranus moves into the house of joint finances resources thankfully it's out of your house of relationships and it's there in this specific house the house of joint finances till about 2025 so it is going to be shaking something up for you either your partner's income gets uh, shaken up it increases uh, or it can be that um, you know that you're not able to earn money through the regular nine to five job maybe their projects are maybe you're working on multiple projects maybe you're moonlighting uh, for uh, you you're handling two jobs at this same time so money could be quite unpredictable for you you won't really know you know you may just have a project and then the project finishes so it is just uh, will be quite uh, dynamic and also your taxes and alimony inheritances they also light up during this time now try not to sort of uh, get thrown off balance by the unpredictability of the money and try to sort of uh, um, you know earn more through your own passion it's something that you can create something that you can depend on rather than depending and waiting for that permanent or that full time guaranteed job to come by i think if you are um, you know if if you're good with writing if you're good with a the pen then maybe you know get more discipline and start writing or finishing that blog or uh, it can be anything so i think just go back uh and identify what is it that you're passionate about and turn that into a full time profession on july uh, 2nd we have a solar eclipse uh that is there and it's there in your house of uh, friendship so maybe you get associated with a new group uh, a new set of friends that are there be literally be identifying your tribe and you will be quite happy with it or on the july 16th we have a lunar eclipse uh that is there in your house of uh love romance creativity or so maybe something will come to an end around july maybe a creative project finishes maybe uh, a child um, you know finishes maybe he or she gets admission in a college or maybe they're doing uh, they finally get something that they're really happy about doing uh, in love relationships it can be that uh, some of you sort of uh, realize that you know this is not the relationship for me and that acceptance that final loaning or the registering happens in your head that you feel you know I can't be doing this for a long time, and in some cases, it will be that you finally sort of bury the hatchet, which has there could be something ongoing for a long time, and that sort of closes for you. Now, uh, the the big news really uh, this year are the eclipses, and we have Mercury, which is uh, going retrograde again multiple times this in 2019, and it's going retrograde mostly in water signs. So for Libra, for you uh, again. Um, you will have to be careful about your reactions uh be careful about what is it that even if you know people are trying to sort of rile you up or you uh, could feel you know that it's not fair it's very unjust but uh, take your time pause and think before you really react um now jupiter also is going to be moving into your house of uh, communication and jupiter likes being over here so maybe your uh, how it is that you can connect to others through speech through your words so ensure that what you're saying is nice and it is healing uh, libra be careful of uh, not sort of getting into i think arguments or end up saying things which are really uh, hurtful and on the uh, 26th of December we have another eclipse and uh, that is there in your house of uh, love romance creativity so these two houses i think with uranus being there moving into your house of joint finances and the eclipse is happening in your sector of uh, love romance creativity a lot of uh, opportunities to create something or, or from your own natural talent a lot many opportunities to collaborate with people children being a source of uh, happiness encouraging them more and also healing your own personal relationships 2019 as far as relationships and love are concerned i really uh, i think a, a, a year of uh, 
maintaining a balance between uh, I think what your partner gives and what is it that you expect I think that is going to be playing quite a key role so try and keep your um, I think not just expectations in check but also try to create that uh, financial abundance for yourself so there is lesser of a dependence that you have it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Lee Prince. I'll see you again soon and have a fantastic 29.